mainly in recruiting. So I'm, I help with uh, all the departments across Nevada Gold Mines, all the different sites, and I help um, develop a pipeline of students and early talent, so people in the first you know, zero to five years of their career. Um, so I'm in a support role that helps um, different departments, metallurgy, geology, engineering, um, and focusing on those professional roles. For me, I oversee our geosciences department, which manages um, dewatering in our pits, and then also our exploration, which enables us to uh, locate potential targets to expand our mind. And uh, for me as a metallurgist, I actually help with uh, processing and taking the dirt and turning it into a metal. Like the scholarship that we have isn't just for women in mining, for women going into mining. It's for men, it's for everyone. As long as the job that, or what you want to learn about, whether it's a trade at GBC or you're going to a university, we provide scholarships for a lot of these things. You know, if you want to do diesel mechanics or uh, IT, even HR, accounting, things that you might not necessarily relate to mining, but are just as important as all the other positions and jobs with mining. Um, what kind of positions do you guys know about in mining? That you, people that you know, what, what kind of work do they do, or what do you know about that? Uh, Absolutely, haul truck drivers. You guys ever seen those trucks, the haul trucks, how big they are? Did you know when you sit in a haul truck, you can't even see the other side of the road? Like, those, that's why they drive on the opposite side of the road at the mine site, because you can't see the other side? I'm a metallurgist, which means I do the processing. I take the dirt that the geologist finds, and we turn it, we're like the magicians of mining because we take the dirt and you end up with the gold or the silver or the copper at the end of the process and we can sell it into the market, right? Because you can't really sell the dirt into the market. So when I, when I was looking and applying for, my, uh, for, to, for the university, there was like, there's very few metallurgists and I'm like, yes, that means I always have a job. <laughs> So then um, I moved to Canada to do my to, to, to advance my studies after I graduated and stayed in Canada. I worked in Canada and I ended up here in Elko where I worked with Barry for a long time. So and then now I live in Reno working for a company called I80 Gold. So the thing is, mining can take you places. A lot of people have traveled the world because of mining. You can literally work in the lab, or you can teach people about, you can be a trainer in the mining industry. There's so many things. So just because, you know, other people are like, we are like engineers and geologists, human resources, it doesn't mean that that's all there is. There's like a whole lot of, like a whole lot of things that you can do in the mining industry.